guys welcome back to my channel uh, in today's video i'm going to show you how i create my stems so i'm just going to show you step by step what i do to um, make my stems look the way they look uh, so we're going to start with the with a random seam and i usually the first thing that i do is to remove all the accessories and hair and makeup and also the clothes because the first thing that i usually do is to choose a body preset for my sim so uh let's go into the bodies and this is these are the the presets that i have in my game there's a bunch of them but i'm currently liking these ones they are from um Okay, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to link it in the description down below. Usually the first thing that I do is actually to um, turn off reshade because I can see what I'm doing better and I don't know, I just, I'm just, that's just how I do it. So let's uh, choose a body preset. I'm going to choose the, um, the curvy one. I really like this one. And then I adjust the legs. I like to do this. Like I'm not sure why, but I I don't like their feet to be like that. I always do this. Then the next thing I usually do is to pull up the hips a little bit more. That's just how I do it. And to make the shoulders a tiny bit smaller. Okay, so then by now I go into the face category and I start by shaping the face. So I usually drag down the uh, uh the jaw <laughs> okay so i usually drag it down like that and i look uh from the profile to see if i like the way she looks and i usually do this all right the next thing that i do is to change the the lips uh, the ones that i'm currently using the more uh, the most are from northern siberia winds but like I don't have a favorite lip preset, like I tend to switch it up and change it depending on, on the scene that I'm creating. So uh, let's just go with, um, let's try these ones. No, I don't like those, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do these, no. Okay, I like this one, they, they look cute so let's do this i usually <clears throat> make them a little bit bigger all right now let's do the nose for the nose preset i have a bunch of these as well but the ones that i'm really using are these ones from northern siberia winds and also these ones from symbians so let's just uh choose a nose preset i'm gonna go with this one i think it's really cute let's make it i usually make it bigger something like that i check the profile i go like i also make the lips come you know okay so that's pretty much how i make the seam uh for the eyes i use this one also from northern siberia winds or uh, right now i also downloaded this one they are from miko i think and they also like these ones they are like big so let's choose these ones and i usually put them like drag them lower okay now the next next step is eyebrows for the eyebrows you know I just go with the vibe and choose the perfect eyebrow for this seam. So I really like these ones. I'm just going to keep them. I'm going to shape them. Okay. I like the way they look now. And do not forget the ears. We should not forget the ears. I like these. Okay, so we're going to go for these ones. Now, I usually change the skin tones and let's go with this color. This color, I love this one. Okay, so usually the skin uh, overlay that I use uh, are from Northern Siberia Winds or from uh, Poyo Poyo. 
Uh, so for this seam, I think I'm gonna go with this one from Northern Siberia Winds. All right, like, look at the difference. Okay, so we're gonna go for this. Then I'm going to show you some skin details that I use on literally all my female seams. So they are... Uh, so it's actually this um, nose highlighter from Cosmetic. Number one, I always use that. Uh, then I use this um, lip shine from Lip Gloss something, also from Cosmetic. It's number six. Uh, the next thing that I add are another nose highlighter it's either this one or this one like this one looks like that and this one looks like this so i think i like this one better and sometimes i also add highlighter from here and for this seam i'm going to choose this like it's too light let's go for for this one yes and look at the way it looks it's beautiful Okay, so that's pretty much how my seam looks by now. We are still in the skin details category and oops. And let's go. Let me see if there's anything else that I can add. Okay, no, nothing else. I usually go then in the cheek scars and I use this highlighter. I'm not sure from who it is, I think it seems three melancholic, but like I said, I will be linking it in the description down below. And this is the difference. I just love the glow it gives to the, to the face. For the eye scars, I use this eye mask. I don't know from who it is because I can't see, but you'll have it in the description. I usually use this or this one, but right now I'm gonna go for this one. I love it. And for the mouth scar, I usually go with uh, the first one, which is this one or this one, like, these are my uh, go-to. Let's choose this one. Okay, now into the makeup category. And the first category that I choose is the face paint because I have to change the color of the eyes. And the eyes that I use the most are from Marigolde. Uh, let's give her brown eyes. Yes. And I usually turn this down a little bit like this one here. So, you know, can you see the difference? Like yeah i usually do that it uh, looks more realistic so i love that okay now i go into the eyes and well to be honest i i don't always apply eyeshadow to my seams but what i do what i what i actually do here is to add eyelashes these ones okay like look at the difference okay then I go into the eyeliner category and here I usually add something like really really simple like this one or like this one so let's just go for this one it's more discreet okay into the cheeks you already we already have the highlighter from the skin details and I usually also add a blush like maybe this one no about this one no okay so let's go and check other blushes that we have here okay no no mm. okay so i like this one and i'm going to choose Okay, perfect. Now, for the lips, my go-tos are obviously by Northern Siberia Wings and these two from Poyo Poyo. So, I feel like going for one of these. And we're gonna go for the matte one. Let's choose a more darker. Okay, so I think I like this one. Okay, another thing that I usually do for the lips is to add a contour. And I go back to the skin details and I select these ones from Northern Siberia Winds, usually this one. And I select like something darker. Can you see the difference? Like I love doing this. I always do this. So let's go for, um, for this one. Okay, 
Okay, see, this is the difference. Okay, perfect. Now, the next thing that I do is choose a hair before adding any accessories. So I'm just going to... Usually, this is the hardest part because it takes me hours to, to decide for a, for a hair. So... Um, Yeah, like I said, this is the longest part. I'm gonna go for... How about this? Or this one? Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for this one. I really like the way it looks and I'm just going to select the brown hair. Uh, okay, and now that we chose the, the hair for this seam, let's go add eyelashes first and then the other accessories that we might want. So for the eyelashes, I use the ones that I use the most are these ones by Dream Girl. I love the way these look so these are the ones that i use the most and uh, i've been really loving these ones from um uh, i think lea lilith i'm not sure okay so these are the ones that i really really love as well but let's just go for these ones because i really like the way uh these look like or yes these ones okay so we're gonna keep this let's add some accessories so i'm going to add um let's see how about uh i actually downloaded uh, a new set from the other day let me just okay this one <gasps> i love this okay so we're gonna go for these and now let's also add a cute necklace to the complete the accessory look how about this no i don't like that okay how about uh this one it's too chunky um okay this is perfect we're gonna go for that one okay now uh, one more thing that I do when I create a seam is going to the tattoos section and I add a shadow. So this is the shadow that I choose and they select this one, this version. Or was it? Was it that one? Yes, this one. This is the version that I select. And then I also add a body highlight. The ones that I usually use are this one. So it's either this or this one. But right now I feel like this is too glowy, so I'm just gonna go for this one, which is more simple. Okay, and the one more thing that I add here is the cleavage uh, mask. So this is without it, and this is with it. Without, with it. I love it. Now let's just do a real quick outfit for her. look of this seam this is how uh, this is how I create my seams I think she turned out really 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 cute and I probably will be putting her up for download for free on my patreon so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in my next video bye